Welcome back to the Beard Times 16. Welcome back to the Beard Times 16. Uh, maybe one more. Welcome back to the Beard Times 16. Massive spank you to the Mad Maker for doing that little intro at the beginning. Uh, I, I promised him ages ago that I'd, uh, I'd uh, put him in one of the videos, but there you go. Anyway, so this week, uh, there's no build. Uh, what I'm going to do is, the guys over, over at Evolution um, sent me a saw to put through the paces for them. Uh, it is. There's a few people that have done this, actually. So it's the... Uh, Evolution 165mm uh, TCT multi-material cutting circular saw. So apparently it will easily go through all these different materials with just the one single blade. Uh, so I'll unbox that in a minute, but what they did was they sent me another box with some of the materials that they uh, they want me to prove that it will go through. So. Uh, that's uh, I think that's some kind of composite decking board. I think it is. I think it's, I think it's a real hard plastic decking board. Um, let's have a look at that. So this is a piece of, uh, of uh, flat steel. Let's see. Let's zero this. Okay. So it is five mil. So that's five mil plate. I think. Um, and then we've got 50 mil box section. We'll do that as well. So a piece of stud in, but they've whacked some uh, some screws in the end. So what I'll do is I'll cut quite close to that and uh, and go through the screws as well. Um, PVC. That's quite a thick PVC. That's really thick. It says 42 mil. Anyway, so the wall thickness is three mil. Don't look three mil. Anyway, and then there's a piece of uh, copper pipe, the standard uh, 15 mil copper pipe. So what we'll do is we'll. Uh, I'll take you over to the the table. We'll do an unboxing. Uh, we'll see what we get in the box, and then we'll start working through the materials. Uh, we've we've talked about all the the bits and pieces of when we're cutting. Um, right. Let's have a look at the box then. So on the box it tells you uh, which model we've got. Uh, Twelve hundred watts. Uh, blades included. It will cut up to 53 millimeters and 34 millimeters on a 45 degree. Uh, three meter cable, and it's four and a half kilos in weight, which is quite heavy. But then you want something nice and heavy to keep it flat, I suppose. Uh, yeah, so there's the different materials. Premium Japanese tungsten carbide tipped blade included. Cut steel, aluminium, wood with embedded nails, plastic and more. Uh, powerful 1200 watt high torque optimized gearbox and blade system. Uh, it just says that it cuts heavy duty stuff. Electric brake. So this is the two, 20 to 240 volt, 240 volt UK. So it comes in 210 volts for the UK and it comes in 220 to 240 for the EU as well. Not for long though. Mm -hmm. Uh, right, shall we open the box up? Okie dokie then. Right, so we've got instruction manual. We'll have a little closer look at that in a minute. Um, different tools. Let's 
So these are obviously for dust extraction. And that's obviously the um, the guide. Pretty standard guide. It seems nice and heavy duty. I can't force it to be bent, so that's a good thing. Okay. And there's the tool. It's a quite a decent size, actually. So in the bottom of the box, we've got the blade. So this is this uh, multi-cutting blade, it does say on it, steel, aluminium, wood, plastic, and there's the blade rotation. <coughs> made in Japan. So the blade is made in Japan. Right, so that's it for the box, nothing else in there. Let's take a quick look at build quality. So yeah, the cable is quite yeah, it's nice and decent, nice decent thick cable. And it says it's three meters long. So that's metal. As far as I can see, build quality is quite nice. Right, so. so first of all you've got this allen key that I've just found that's tucked into there I'd imagine that is for changing the blade yeah it's for changing the blade so what we'll do we'll whack the blade on and then we'll have a real good look at it um, and we'll check how square things are and so on and then we'll get to testing it so do is loosen that up. So when you put this blade on, on the top there there's a lock that locks the shaft that it bolts into. So what you do is you push your finger down and then clockwise lock it off. So that is on there. Okay. And then we'll put that back in there. Right, so the blade's on. Looking at the, the overall finish on it, it's quite a nice finish. It isn't rubber, it's plastic. Uh, other than this, this is all rubber. All this part and around the handle where you're gripping it is rubber. Right, so what we've got is, we've got different adjustments on this. So if you want to cut a 45 degree or a 30 or 20, uh, you've got this adjustment at the front. And all you do is you loosen this little clip, which is it's quite decent quality. Uh, and then you rotate across to whatever you want. So let's take it down to zero. 
I don't know if you can see that on camera but that is your marker so we'll take that down to zero and we'll lock it off okay so what we'll do is we'll check to see how square that is now so this is a, a little engineer square you cannot get any squarer than this to be honest <laughs> it's pretty accurate so what I'm going to do, and I use this all the time, uh, I'm just going to offer it up against the uh, the blade and the bed, just to see how square it is um, when you're on that zero for a 90 degree cut. Um, can you see that on camera? That's flat on the bed now. That is not bad. Not bad at all. I can't see any daylight through. Let's try the other side. See, it's a bit difficult on this side because you've got these ridges. Um, let's try it across the two there. Let's see what happens now. I can't see because you guys are in the way. Be honest, that's not bad, is it? Yeah. Okay. That's not bad. I'm not sure about these ridges though, because I'm wondering um, how much sawdust can get into these ridges and, and clog it up and put your square off. That's my only concern so far, is this. But have a look right so you've got this adjustment at the back here which gives you your cutting depth okay so what you do is you loosen that off and then slide that down so let's say we're going to cut 10 mil we'll lock that off and we'll see how rigid that's going to be There is a slight amount of flex in this bar, not a lot, but just a very slight amount. And I think that's due to the, uh, the rivets holding it together. Maybe it's just me. Let's just Yeah, you can actually see there is a, there is a slight, there is very slight movement. I don't know if you can see that there. Can you see it? I don't think that's really going to affect anything, to be honest. But I'm just showing it anyway. Okay. Other than that, the build quality seems okay. So the next thing we're going to try uh, and we're going to have a look at is uh, the guide or fence. Uh, what you do is you loosen this little grub screw there and you slide through. So you go right through the whole of the, the bed and then lock it down. Now past experience with things like this is the accuracy isn't that great and they loosen but let's have a look now you can see that on camera if you look about here it does twist a little bit so I think you would have to be really careful not to put a lot of pressure on this because you may wander across a little bit from your mark, your cutting mark. Can you see that? But saying that, we'll give it a go and we'll see how it performs. I mean, it does lock in, it doesn't move, it's just, it's just that. 
Right, so finally with this part of the, uh, the build quality, I'd like to double check how accurate this line is to the actual blade itself. This is your guideline for cutting uh, a straight uh, 90 degree cut. This one is your 45 degree. So we're gonna just line the blade up with this line here and see how it looks. Right, so it is in fact this edge of this cut out here Uh, I understand there's carbide tip on it, so it, well, let's go by the carbide tip. Looks bang on to me. Yeah, that looks bang on. So the other side of it. Yep, yeah, I'm happy with that. Right, so it's all plugged in now. Um, what we're going to do is see how loud it is. I'm interested to see how long it takes for this blade to stop because apparently it's got an electric blade break. So what I'll do is I'll just give it one pulse, one trigger, uh, and then we'll see. It stops quite quickly. Right, so I've locked that down uh, with the Allen key that's provided and it does look a little bit off center if you watch when I uh, I turn it on and off see how it wobbles a little bit I don't think it's going to affect anything and it is on there quite quite well so let's cut some stuff up what I'm going to start with doing is I'm going to cut through um, this piece of studding with these uh, screws in there. There you go, it went straight through like butter. Look at that. And there you are, screwed right in there. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna test is this uh, PVC pipe. It's not a bad cut actually, it's quite clean, but it went through, no problem. Right, so this next cut, what I've done is I've set the fence at uh, one inch, exactly one inch away from the blade itself. Um, so I'm going to go through this plasticky uh, stuff uh, and then we'll measure it in a minute. Let's see what it comes up as. Okay, there's our piece. Take measure, yeah. do. <laughs> That is absolutely bang on. Look at that, can you see? Perfect. I am quite impressed with that fence. I didn't think it would perform that well, but according to this, it's kept a one inch gap all the way down. That's good, I like it. Okay, so we're gonna move on now to the Okay. Mm. 
<laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> it cut through it. It kind of shot the back, the bottom bit off. I don't know. But anyway, it left a little bit of a burr on there. Um, and on that end. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through it really slow this time and see if we can get rid of that. Okay, so I tried going real slow to get rid of that, but I suppose you just file that off at the end. It did what it's supposed to, it cut through. So, right, so let's move on to the box section. Okay. <laughs> it definitely cut through. Well, there you go. It went through okay. It's left that little bit of a uh, a burr at the bottom again. I don't know if you can see that. I'm not sure why it does that. I don't know. Anyway, you could just file that off, that's fine. But it went through. It went through really well. Um, right, so the last test really is this hunk of steel. Right, I've not been looking forward to this. Let's give it a go. Now that is pretty impressive. It went through that like butter. Again, that little bit at the end. I think that's just uh, standard. <laughs> I think it's going to happen. But again, you just file that off. But look at that. It's a great cut, that is. Ugh. So we've gone through the different... Materials. Let's see what kind of an impact it's had on that blade. Let's stop again. Right. Let's have a look at this blade. Well, we haven't lost any teeth, and they all look pretty much still brand new. Very sharp. Yeah, it's got a bit of uh, wear on the on the uh, the paint, but that's nothing, is it? Let's just check that again. Okay, so that's still solid.
Right, so what I've done is I've set the fence to one inch uh, from the, the fence or guide to the, uh, the carbide tip. Uh, but I've raised the cutting depth, so we're only going th just through the plywood. And the reason I've done this is because earlier on when I mentioned about this movement we've got in the back here, uh, I want to see if that affects the blade in any way. I mean, I'm forcing that now and it is moving. You can see that on screen. But that's not saying it's not going to cut perfectly. Okay, right, let's go for it. Plug it in again. Let's see what it's like. It should read exactly one inch. Look at that. That's not bad, is it? That's halfway down. And then that's right at the end. Okay, so it's slightly off there. Maybe that was human error. Let's cut another one. again. Yeah, bang on one inch. One inch. One inch. One inch, yeah. It was it was human error, as you can see there. Or was it? No it wasn't. I can see it now. Slightly off, can you see that? So that, where it was slightly off, was when I was coming in for the cut there. But then once I got to here, it was bang on one inch. Figured out what the issue is. Right, so when you put it on, I don't know if you can see right there. Watch. Can you see? There is a little bit of movement in that fence. You can see it. So, once the, front, the fence is, um, once you've started cutting, that fence is great. But when you first start, I think you've got to be really careful not to put any pressure on that to move it. Right, well there you go. Um, when Evolution asked me to test this product, uh, they said, look, you have to give a true account of what you actually um, feel about the product. Um, and as far as I can see, everything's good. There are a couple of little things that I think Evolution could, um, that could improve. Um, for instance, the fence itself, there's too much movement in that fence really for you, for you to trust it I wouldn't trust this fence but what I would trust is this guide at the front that was bang on um, as you can see when I cut those three strips with the plywood the first five inches of the wood was uh, a sixteenth of an inch off and then it kind of leveled out and it cut a perfect one inch strip. Um, this bolt here, it looks like it's a bit off 
when you when you turn it on it kind of wobbles it's perfectly safe that blade is not coming off I've locked it down but again it performs well but it just doesn't look great um, other than that there was this this thing here but what it is is this is your adjustment for your depth of cut now what I noticed is the higher you cut the more movement you've got in this base plate and you could see it there when I was showing the camera earlier on um, but other than that it's a great tool one blade cuts all I mean what do you what more do you want so yeah I'm happy with it it is heavy and if you use it all day which I doubt you would be it would start to uh, build your muscles up <laughs> but I mean it went through all these materials as if it was butter now uh, last thing now so all these materials that I went through when you get to the very last little bit can you see that little burr on the end I'm not sure what that's for what what's causing that see I've got it on the copper I've got it on the steel I've got it on the um, PVC and then on that box I'm not sure but a bit of a file down it'll be fine other than that I'm quite happy with it so anyway my personal recommendation would be yes I would go and buy this tool but I would really um, take into consideration that that fence isn't perfect so other than that it does everything else really well okay so thanks for watching check out the mad maker um, give him some support uh, also there's another friend of mine that I'm trying to help build his channel a little bit um, the flaming turner I'll leave links to the flaming turner and to uh, the mad maker down below head over guys give them some support check them out if you like them subscribe if you don't then don't subscribe <laughs> that's all I can say anyway and I'll see you uh, Tuesday 8 o'clock UK time live in the workshop <laughs>